Hello and welcome to this GarrettCon training presentation on the simple, simple network time protocol client. The uh, SNTP client is available on all of the uh, 6K switches regardless of the uh, secure version or standard version you might be using. Uh, SNTP gives you a way to uh, synchronize the clocks on all of your network devices. Uh, a synchronized clock um, from one central source is a, is a great benefit in terms of administration so you don't have to uh, go around and manually set the time on all of your devices especially think about when you know uh, clocks go back, clocks go forward, that could be a real headache having uh, the time set in one central point and that time then being propagated to all of the devices in the network automatically is a real sort of uh, a labor saver. The other important benefit of using SNTP is that uh, if you use uh, say things like syslog and you have uh, log files being recorded uh, so that you can monitor certain network events if the time and date is out obviously you won't be able to know when exactly that event occurred uh, also for things like certificates for uh, say VPN certificates for security a lot of these uh, certificates are issued for a particular period of time and if for example your clocks are incorrect those uh, those certificates could run into problems there so the simple network time protocol is a valuable addition to your uh, your network. So let's let's fire up the uh, the web browser. Let's log into the switch and let's uh, let's see this thing in action. Okay, so I've logged into the switch and I've uh, skipped a part of the process for you to save a bit of time. Uh, in the uh, in the menu trees, uh, we need to go to the configuration section and we need to go down to the bottom to uh, SNTP. If we click here. That brings up the relevant menu where we can make the changes. So what we need to do now is we need to uh, add in the SNTP server, which is going to be giving the uh, the correct time to the SNTP client, which is the software running on the switch. So it's always two pieces to the puzzle. You need the SNTP server, which is a software running on another device, to give you the accurate time. That device can be a, a Garacom switch if you have the secure version of the software. Um, it can also be a Windows server, it can also be a, a web-based uh, uh, SNTP server, or it could also be, a, you can actually buy a dedicated SNTP uh, servers which look a bit like routers. Uh, they have typically a GPS link to a satellite in orbit which is providing the uh, not just the navigation for all your GPS devices for your navigation systems, but also the correct time uh, from a, a, a super accurate atomic clock. So those are, those are very popular and very critical networks. What we have here is we actually have a program called uh, TFTP D32. Uh, it's a freeware application I actually use for my own personal use. This isn't used by the company, it's just used for my myself. It's a, uh, an application you can download for things like students and for home users free of charge from the internet. Uh, and uh, it's a great little program, it's got a syslog server, it's got a TFTP server, an FTP server, um, an SNTP server for time, so that's what we're using here. So we have the SNTP server running on this uh, program, which is going to take the time and date of my laptop and give that out to the uh, switch on the network. So if we go back to the web browser, and we need to type in the IP address uh, of my laptop which is going to be acting as the SNTP server so the IP address is 192.168.1.100 uh, the uh, timeout period is how long I'm going to wait for the time after I've asked for it before I either ask again or I consider that device to be down so let's give it 10 seconds should be fine and uh, how many times am I going to ask for the time and not get it before I think that that particular server is not working properly so we're going to say free there. Now we have the ability to sync uh, either immediately or um, at a particular time. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to configure this first and then come back here. So once that the uh, this stuff has been entered, the server has been added to the list with the uh, corresponding values that we set there. Again, if we want to make uh, changes, we can edit it there by clicking on the pencil and edit those values that we did or of course we can click on the red X to delete that server from the list. Okay so we now need to uh, basically turn on, now we've got the uh, we now we've specified where we're going to get our time from we need to specify uh, that the switch use 
at SMTP. So we go into, if I just show you that again, so I go into this section here, it says edit, click here, we enable SMTP. If we have any time zone differences, we can we can make those changes here. Uh, fortuitously for us, uh, we're actually based in the UK, so we're GMT, so we're smack bang in the middle. Um, so we don't have to make uh, worry about all these time zone offsets. Uh, but if you were obviously if you were in the uh, um, you know East Coast or West Coast USA or in Japan or wherever, you would have to obviously plus or minus GMT and then make those hour changes as appropriate. Okay, also if you wanted to take into account daylight savings time, you could also do that here by selecting your country from the list. Okay, so we've just basically enabled it, that should do the trick for us, and click OK. And that's it, we're up and running. So what we need to do now is save those changes. Click OK. And I want to show you a before and after view of the world. So if we go to administration, and then go to... Um, where, uh, if I remember rightly, there it is. If we get to set and then date and time, we can see that the time and date is. Uh, bear with me. Okay, unfortunately, I wanted to show you a before and after view of the world. Um, the time and date is actually accurately set now, so when I enabled SNTP, it automatically uh, kicked in and, and changed that time and date for us. So it's the 31st of uh, July here. Uh, it's. Uh, actually 10 to 8, not 10 to 7. We haven't specified daylight savings time, so uh, we're actually in the summer here, so let's, let's, let's talk about that now here. Okay, so if we go back into this uh, section here, and we go back into the edit area, so if we go back to the SNTP configuration section, uh, we uh, the reason we were an hour out is because we're in the uh, British summertime here. So uh, we didn't actually have, we had SNTP enabled, and we didn't need to worry about the time zones, because you know, we're smack bang in the middle of the world, so we don't need to worry about any offsets. But of course, if you are East Coast USA, West Coast USA, you will have to make those changes, otherwise your clocks will be out. Now, what we didn't do was we didn't specify a daylight saving time, so we need to find uh, United Kingdom in the list. Unfortunately, it's hidden under the London, which is actually a city rather than a country. But uh, we're so important here in the UK, that's what I like to think, but they've actually given us our capital city rather than the country, so uh, we get special treatment. But uh, London is uh, UK, put uh, in there, I assume they meant GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, London, so uh, it's a special importance. So we've got a city instead of a country, but that's us. And click OK. And if we go back in here, we can sync again. So all we did there was, uh, I was a bit too quick there, went to the pencil, to edit, and click sync, sync now, and click OK. Now if we go back to Okay, so if we go back into the uh, set date and time this time round, uh, if you remember last time we were one hour out, uh, let's have a look at the time now. It was ten to uh, it was ten to seven last time, and now it's it's five to eight. So we got spot on perfect time, exactly the same time we have on my computer, and uh, that's the SNTP client. So that's how to configure it. That's what it does for you, and that's it set up in action for you. I hope you found this interesting and uh, useful and on behalf of Garrett's Com, I would like to thank you all for your time and goodbye.